at Telstra Stadium tonight. State of Origin number two on Nine's Wide World of Sports. You want reality television, you've got it tonight. A superb stage for sporting theatre tonight. Queensland with a chance to wrap up the series tonight. New South Wales playing for their lives. Now, if you want to relive some of the great moments of State of Origin, you can do that via our 25 years of Origin DVD. You saw it on Channel 9 last night. The DVD available as from Monday. And also for you at home tonight, your chance to win $5,000 courtesy of our VB Man of the Match promotion. The good people from VB have put up $5,000 if you can correctly match the player the Australian selectors pick as Man of the Match tonight. The phone number to call 1902 259 979. Ray Warren calls his 50th State of Origin match tonight. All yours, Rams. Thank you, Andrew. And good evening, everybody. A magnificent scene here at the Olympic Stadium, Telstra Stadium, 82,000 people on hand to see one of sport's great rivalries in this country. So many questions to be answered on this night of fantasy and intrigue, this night of overwhelming expectation in a game that sometimes borders on fantasy, on unbelievability. As Darren Lockyer leads the Queenslanders out, He captains for the sixth time, the youngster from Roma, the hometown of Arthur Beaton as well. So Lockyer is out there, only one point separates the two states after 73 state of origin games can you believe that 97 hours of football and just one point 1142 for queensland 1141 for new south wales and now danny badiris for the fifth time captains the blues and he knows in the queue of players behind him is his club captain andrew johns a man under whom he has played many many times this will be a thunderous roar for the Blues. There's Johns. He's the X Factor. How will he come through? That's his dad. Some say he shouldn't be there on his limited preparation. Others say he had to be there. He's only played nine games in the past two seasons. And there are other factors coming into this game that we haven't had time probably to dwell on. The effect on Queensland, on the absence of Steve Price, who would have been invaluable in putting pressure on the Johns kicking game. And Queensland have not won game two in Sydney since 1989 with that memorable try, with only 11 players behind him by the King, King Wally. Telstra Stadium beautifully prepared. Wonderful atmosphere. Here's Anthony Kalia now with the national anthem of Australia.
what a night for this man. He's played only three times in 2004, six times in 05. He's played only once since breaking his jaw two months ago. But they say, cometh the hour, cometh the man. Steve Clark has refereed at origin level before. He refereed the first origin match here at the Olympic Stadium back in 1999. He's done two games. He's never done a grand final. That's the aerial looking down on Homebush or the Sydney Olympic Park. There's the whistle. Origin 2 is underway. Queensland with first use of the ball and seven receiver comes back at Hindmarsh. Riles involved in the tackle, so too was Simpson. Simpson repeating, starting the game, and Bailey coming off the bench. So Queensland then with Carl Webb taking it beyond the 30 metre line. He's met by Simpson. His progress has halted Hindmarsh again in that tackle. And so too was the left centre in defence, Cooper. They go back to the blind side again for Thurston to link up with Flannery. Thurston visiting the Olympic Stadium for the first time since the grand final of last year. Smith from Melbourne. He kicks it away down in towards the New South Wales 10 metre zone. And here it is with another Melbourneian, Matt King, playing in only his second origin game and he's mauled over by the Queensland defence, three of them in fact making the tackle. Berrigan was the main, it's gone away now to Minicello, and Minicello takes it towards centre ground. Flannery is there, Carl Webb is there, and another, the last to rise, was the number four, Paul Bowman. Now for Riles, and he gets it outside the 20 metre line. It was a miserable start for the Blues in Queensland, they'll be looking to straighten the record in the corresponding half of this game. Kennedy playing the ball on his own 30, and they play a short side with Badiris getting it away for Braitha Nasta. Back at Origin again. First time since 03 he visited Origin in 2002 when he formed a combination with Johns. There's Johns with a kick. And again, going down close to the sideline where Queensland clean it up and Bowman comes away. Well, Steve Price might not be there, but there's still plenty of pressure on the New South Wales kicking game. John's not getting a good one away. Very nice first touch for Braith and Nasta down the short side. Seven receiver then played the ball and Thurston gave it on. Lockyer fires a flat ball, a long ball, out towards Ty Williams. And Ty Williams flirting with the sideline. He was able to get the ball away. That was a, a nice piece of work by the Queensland Cowboy. Now it's away for Brad Thorne who takes it. Again, about five metres onto the blue side of halfway, and again, Hindmarsh is involved with Fitzgibbon and Riles. To a short side play, and Lockyer again links up with Williams, and Queensland have run the way for the ball, the kick through, goes over the sideline. Well, an surprising stuff by the Maroons down the short side. Darren Lockyer heavily involved. Nice inside kick there by Williams, towed through by Berrigan. No luck in the bounce. They would have been the first there, Queensland. It's a couple of shots they've had down this side with cut-out passes from Darren Lockyer. Out. Looking to take on Matt King and Mark Gashner in defence. Speaking of King, makes a good charge towards his own 20 centre field. Met there by Bowman and by Thurston. His Braith and Aston now. 25 metres out from the Blues line. The opening exchanges of Origin 2, and this is right. Seven receiver in the tackle there with... Uh, Michael Crocker down to the sideline, Andrew Voss. And Ray, 15 degrees for Origin 2 tonight. A little slippery out there this time. Last night was raining in Sydney. No forecast of that tonight. Craig Fitzgibbon on screen. He is the first choice goal kicker. Could even boil down to that tonight. What an advantage for the Blues to have a player like Andrew Johns as your backup goal kicker. That was a great run there by the Nova Castri and Simpson as Johns puts a kick down the ground. It's bouncing awkwardly. And Matt Singh had to use all his ability and guile to bring it in. Played by Queensland, back just outside their 10-metre line. They're 12 metres out from their own line. Rudy doing the defence on Bowman. Here's Singh coming away. Singh, one of the senior players in the game, playing his 23rd origin match tonight. In fact, the senior player, his Thorne. Who, of course, left rugby league, went to Union, represented the All Blacks, and here he is back at the top level of league again as Carl Webb tries to break through. Webb is put down in a four-man blues tackle. Kennedy was in there, so was Anasta. 
and Vadiris. Now for Thurston, and he kicks just inside the 40 metre line, and it's gone straight down to King. He's got Minocello running with him. He goes beyond the 30, not a bad run. 35 metres out from his own line, they force him back. Thurston and Flannery and Crocker, three of them in the tackle as Fitzgibbon takes it on the right and runs it towards Lockyer. Darren's missed tackle ratio is quite high and it's only to be expected they will run some plays at Lockyer. Here's Johns turning it in. Kennedy, former teammate from Newcastle, taking it a couple of metres onto the Maroon side of halfway. No score in Origin 2 as they go down the short side with Johns again. 10 metres in from the Eastern Touchline. 38 metres out from the Queensland line as Braith and Astor turns it away for Simpson. And again, another good run by him. Played and gone to the short side again for Johns. He puts a little banana kick across and it's bounced. Oh, that might be a knock on against Crocker. No, he's ruled knock backwards. Crocker makes a big run, a sustained run. Linking up with him is Slater. Here's Billy Slater down to the 40. He kicks ahead. Berrigan's after it. So to his King. King gets there first and saves for the blue. Oh, Matt King has dead set saved the try. A magnificent effort by him to chase that. Queensland were going to score there. Matt King's out on his feet. Hindmarsh, that ball's been stolen. He's lost it. Well, Matt King saved two tries. Oh, now a penalty. penalty. Got him for a strip, saying a two-man tackle. Lockie saying only one on the tackle. No wonder he's tired. Well, you think Billy Slater in open space would have the pace. He covered that, and then he covered the kick. That is a huge play for the number two. And New South Wales very keen to get this penalty. Yeah, as soon as Bowman got involved, that became a two-man tackle, despite the fact he only put his hand on him. Oh, boys! Line finder was taken by Johns, and this is Riles. A couple of metres on the Queensland side of halfway. Michael Crocker must have gone very close to knocking on that banana kick from Andrew Johns. I thought he did, but 31 metres out from the line, the Blues are with the ball. Rooney across to Johns, and Johns goes off his right foot and then stops and stammers and... Then the ball goes through a couple of sets of hands. Again, back to the big dragon, Riles. Starting the game without his mate, Bailey. Bailey coming off the bench at around about the 20-minute mark, you would expect. Here's Johns. Dummies inside the Minicello. Goes outside for Braith and Astor. And Astor is held. Looking to get rid of the ball. He's nine metres out from the Queensland line. It's the first real test for the Maroons. Their defence. And here's Badiris to Johns. And Johns, here's the call from Minicello. And Minicello... Grasped a couple of metres out on tackle five. Badiris from dummy half gets it back to Anasta. Anasta puts a little kick in. It's in behind Berrigan. Oh, it's gone off him. And gone dead in goal. Line drop out. Very exciting stuff by the Blues. Andrew Johns heavily involved. Switches of play, little kicks. That one from Anasta and Gaznia. How close? Well, fortunately for New South Wales, he didn't get a touch. It would have been the last one. Dane Carlaw, the man called in to cover for Stephen Price in this game. And if there's any doubt about Braith and Astor being back at origin, that's been dispelled very early on. He's been outstanding in the opening minutes. Well, the Queenslanders gather themselves together and there's the Lockyer kick out. 45 metres, it's gone on the fly to Minicello, who sends Riles back to the 30 metre line now. Queensland's end of the park, with Dearest on the second play, using Kennedy, who drives the attacking wedge in behind the markers, and then Badiris goes to the left and finds Johns, who goes across, and he's forming a combination early with Kennedy. The pass from Kennedy goes high. It's picked up by Simpson, and Simpson again goes straight and hard. Not, this, uh, not too far that time. Back to Johns now. He's 11 metres out. Back on the inside, Minicello. And he's five metres out from the line now. Dearest then has got Fitzgibbon away to his right. He's got Johns on the left, and it goes to the playmaker. Then uh, Anasta catch and pass with Cooper. Cooper to Rooney, and Rooney, the ball has gone over the sideline. Well, they're looking very dangerous, but everything they're throwing at Queensland, Queensland's defence, just terrific. It's a solid wall. Cooper, the ball to Rooney, and it's knocked out by Billy Slater on the reverse angle there. The Queensland with the loose head and feet to a scrum 10 metres out from their own line and here's Bowman taken down 12 metres out from his line by Fitzgibbon and by Minicello. And just to point out why that wasn't a New South Wales feed, 
was touched by Billy Slater, forced out by Billy Slater, but the referee ruled that he did not play at it. That why the Queensland feed resulted. Big Brad Thorne, he's able to get it out to the 30 metre line and Kennedy and Fitzgibbon together with Riles involved in the tackle and here's a, a dummy half run for Cameron Smith. Both he and Billy Slater turning 22 this coming Saturday. As it goes away to Sivan Seaver, he goes back to a second man. Thurston is with the ball, Hindmarsh is with Thurston. And then driving in as the number nine for New South Wales, the captain. And now Slater out from dummy half, puts a kick in and it's gone straight down to Minicello. Playing very deep on that occasion, he takes it back to the 30 metre line. Slater the kicker out of dummy half on that occasion. And here is Rooney now, 35 metres out from his own line. Luke Rooney has registered three origin tries as Cooper makes a run down the left side. Hindmarsh was outside him and played quickly back to Hindmarsh. He dummies to Kennedy, crosses the 40 metre line, tries to get away from Sivan the receiver. It doesn't quite work that way. Now Johns approaches the 30, passes before it, gets it to Minicello. Out to King! King running onto the ball, heading for the corner, floating it in field. And again, it's Michael Crocker who saves the day for Queensland. Yeah, it was looked like a bit of deja vu there from the first game. Matt King made a breakthrough back inside of Danny Baderas on that occasion. Michael Crocker got in the way in good cover defence. Brad Thorne, he's been strong in the opening, what, 10 minutes? Crocker also did very well to stay in the field of play after taking the pass. Sivan Asiva tackled now by Simpson and Riles. Queensland with Carl Webb running at a Fitzgibbon and Hindmarsh. He's made it out to the 30 metre line. They're 20 metres in from the western touchline. And Cameron Smith at dummy half looking for Lockyer and Lockyer goes straight through to first and playing out at second receiver that time. Flannery beats one, but he's pulled down from behind by Ben Kennedy and Nathan Hindmarsh. First and dummy half for the boot of Lockyer. Lockyer keeps it low, drives it down behind Minicello. Minicello says to King, you take it. So King, who's had plenty of work in the game, takes it all right, but gives it immediately to Minicello. And Minicello is held back on his 10 metre line. He didn't want much to do with that one, did he? Matt King, no wonder, he's been in everything. He's still in the game as we come towards the 12th minute, and it's Rooney who's tackled about five metres inside the 20-metre line. Badiris passes for Anasta, he calls Cooper on the inside. Cooper is taken by Thurston, and not held by Thurston, goes again before Bowman wraps him up on the right side of Queensland's defence, and they're still inside their 30-metre line with Riles taking it ahead now. He came under um, some criticism after game one. And Jason has already, you can see it, he's lifted his performance so far. Johns, dummies, left, right, throws a long ball. King did well. Made the pass look a bit better than it really was. And Ty Williams wrestles Matt King down to ground inside the New South Wales 40-metre line. This is the last tackle. The kick will come from Johns. He has to step around Crocker. And then Johns gets his kick away. It's gone down towards Slater. Slater, 15 out from his own line, starts his... Run back down the ground, runs away from Badiris, comes to Kennedy, puts a swerve on Kennedy, but Kennedy makes the tackle together with Hindmarsh. Bailey's getting ready to come into the game. Out from the 30-metre line goes Matt Singh, and he's put down and tackled inside 40. And that's a pretty fair indication of the speed of this game. The first 13 minutes, Luke Bailey coming on. Normally, we don't see an interchange for another four or five. Ricky Stewart opting to get a fresh forward out there as Thorne takes it over the halfway. Thorne. Five metres on the New South Wales side of halfway. Matt Singh a dummy half. Thurston at first, Lockyer at second. Carl Webb was a runner on his inside. I'm sure he wasn't meant for it. Kennedy dives on the loose ball. Thurston wrapping him up. Play back inside the 30 metre line, New South Wales end. Here's Gaznia, who's been in doubt up until the last 24 hours. John's a dummy half, Fitzgibbon. New South Wales in a little bunch behind the play of the ball. Not a lot of space at the moment. Rooney for a run outside the 40-metre line, running towards Thurston and Webb, and they combine with Webb, the chief tackler in that occasion, to the halfway line now. Badir is back for Riles. Riles shaped to pass, but Simpson was fractionally in front of him. Tackle five is there. They're just into Queensland's territory now. Here's Johns putting a kick in. Minicello's chasing. The ball is hitting the upright of the try. It's a try for the Blues. Scored by Minicello. That's his fifth origin, origin try. Anthony Minicello has scored. They just want to 
check the onside here. I've got a sneaking suspicion he might have been a fraction in front. Well, let's see if we can work out where Anthony Minicello is in relation to the kicker, Andrew Johns. Big pads. And the number seven's been able to hit them. OK. About to kick the football. I think that'll be OK. Yeah, it's line ball, right in line. That's the, that's the man we're talking about, obviously, on his immediate left. And look, I've got to say, no urgency at all there by those two Queensland backs. Billy Slater and Matt Singh. Billy Slater was the man who should have got the football first. And Minicello picks it up, dives over, and that, you would think, if he just declared on site, will be a try. I think he's made that decision, Paul. He's now looking at grounding, so I think he's happy with the onside situation. Yeah, clever work there from Minicello. Didn't stop and try and pick it up. Realised if he could just get the football, my man would slide him over. Here's the decision. It's a try. New South Wales take the first points 4-0. Big welcome to our audience is taking us overseas. Peter outlined where we're going. And it's indeed a, a very big Australian welcome to you. Back live at State of Origin 2 with Minatello scoring just a minute ago. And Fitzgibbon then with the easiest of conversions. So New South Wales 6, lead Queensland no score, 16 minutes gone. Well, kickers love the posts, whether they're putting bombs up, whether they're sliding kicks through, I don't know whether Andrew Johns is aiming for them, but if anyone's going to hit them, it's going to be the maestro in the seven jersey. Minicello inside has been tremendous off, Johns. Yeah, that's the combination. Minicello is thriving on the fact that Andrew Johns is back in this game. He's already run off him three or four times with inside passes, followed that kick up. Queensland just got to regroup, regather. Let's go to the sideline for a comment from Phil Gould. Yeah, perfect start for New South Wales there. Look, not only just the fact they're 6-0 lead on the scoreboard, but they've got each other into the game. Andrew Johnson's long passing game, short passes to the forwards back on the inside, has got everyone a taste of the football. That didn't happen in game one. Plus, a few of his kicks have got them guessing at the back. That didn't happen in game one. First 15 minutes, 10 out of 10, long way to go. John's then finding the line as New South Wales got a penalty for offside play against Queensland at the play the ball. So they got a very easy exit from their own 20-metre zone. It's played by Riles and Badira sends Hindmarsh back towards the markers and Hindmarsh going nowhere on the 40-metre line. Queensland's end and that's uh, Simpson having done his job. Welcome back to the benches by Laurie Daly. Badiris goes across the park. He gets it away to Anasta. And Anasta is held there by Smith and Sivanasiva. And he's pulled down 30 metres out on the Queensland 30-metre line. He loses the ball. No, he's given a penalty. There was a hand on the ball, according to Stephen Clark. Yeah, I think he was pointing at Petro Sivanasiva. Both he and Cameron Smith were involved in the tackle. Fitzgibbon here looking to extend the lead further than a converted try. Oh, a couple of fortuitous penalties coming New South Wales way after the restart, and that's always nice for the team receiving them, of course. Well, New South Wales already leading the penalties 3-0. They've got possession going their way, 62%. It's almost the reverse of what happened in the first game. He, actually, a little bit unlucky there. Oh, was, he sure. wasn't playing at the football, no. but the fact he put his arm up there was instrumental in the ball coming out. It's given just a couple of moments ago, converting the try scored by Anthony Minicello after a kick from Andrew Johns. Hit the uprights and bounced back for Minicello to ground it. It was a close call, the offside, onside ruling. His fits given, though, from the centre of the park. He's hit it beautifully. Another two points go on the board for the... New South Wales Wizard Blues and their coach Ricky Stewart, it is 8-0. Well, they have to be pretty happy with their start. And Steve Simpson, congratulations. He was on there for 16 minutes. His work rate was fantastic. 12 uh, tackles and four hit-ups. And here's the reverse angle of that. 
That try it was a line ball decision, but Graham West uh, saw it in New South Wales' favour. Great kick, great chase. And Queensland just a bit slack at the back there. Shot across the ground into this uh, capacity crowd of 82,000. That kickoff is flirting with the dead ball line, but it was it was okay for an Astor to send Luke Bailey back. And Bailey with his first touch in the Origin match. He plays the ball 10 out from his line, but Dearest gives it up to Riles, and Riles continues in the game, puts a flick pass down for Johns. Johns tries to step away from Berrigan, but Berrigan and Williams combined with Lockyer to bring him down. Still, he made about 10 or 15 metres with the bench from Queensland just limbering, just stretching. Here's Fitzgibbon now, banged into the ground. 35 metres out from the Blues line, 8 nothing. four points from Fitzgibbon's boot. That's a knock on by Bailey. So the pressure will now come for New South Wales. It gives Queensland a great opportunity. Loose head and feed to them, 35 out. That was a tough pass. He was coming at speed, probably a little bit hard. You're looking for a soft ball to be thrown, to be caught with soft hands. Bailey be very unhappy that he's put the first one down. Jonathan Thurston feeds 38 out from the opposition. Thurston then immediately going over to Lockyer. And Lockyer to Slater, and Slater was banged there by Cooper who took the chances to coming up and in. And Bowman has taken over there now. And again, Cooper is involved in the tackle together with Kennedy. They're 35 metres out from the line now. Queensland with Flannery now, taking it up to Hindmarsh and Bailey. Ben Ross on for seven to see, but they're first interchange, Queensland. Just inside the 30 metre line as Thurston passes on that point to Lockyer. Lockyer, oh, Webb was hit with a very solid tackle from Fitzgibbon. His head went jumping back, and now Carl plays the ball. It goes away from Smith, and the 14 is Ben Ross from Penrith. On tackle, 5, 12 out. They keep the pot boiling. Here's Smith with a little kick. Oh, the bounce was horrible for Minicello, but King, again, he's proved a bit of a saviour. Oh, has he what? The ball got a bad bounce for Minicello over his head, but Matt King's about 8 foot 4. Didn't worry him. Love a little kick. Look at this, Wooshka, over it goes. I'll handle that one, thanks. It's not a bad surname to have at origin level, is it? And he's fitting the role beautifully tonight. The right man in the right place at the right time. And there's further evidence of it. Saved a couple so far for his team. So, the line dropouts, they level up with John sending at 50 metres back down the ground. And here's Ross winding up, running into Bailey. Bailey might have gone in a bit awkwardly. He's OK. His... Dragons teammate in the tackle, Riles, his Thorn, and Thorn runs it. Danny Badiris, here's a penalty, right in front going to Queensland. Fuck, Jason Riles. And he's penalised Jason Riles. And obviously an important decision to be made here. Do Queensland get themselves on the board, put themselves just six behind, or do they go for more? Well, I think it's a chance for them to build some momentum. They haven't had much football, especially down this part of the uh, field. And I think this is a pretty good decision. <laughs> the tap will be taken just outside the 10 metre line as Cameron Smith goes to Thurston, Thurston to Ross, and Ross will be pent up with nerves and he's really taking it out in the opening exchanges with three handles in as many minutes. Here's Thorne with the ball now. Five metres away from the Blues line, Kennedy and Hindmarsh, the tacklers. Here's Cameron Smith turning it back for Carl Webb, and Webb is held five metres out from the line. Scored a try on Origin debut back in 2001 as Ross gives it back to Lockyer. Lockyer to Thurston, they're running angles, they're promoting the football! Thurston a couple of metres out from the line, taken by Riles and Bailey. Played back for Smith, and Smith goes behind Webb, goes to Lockyer. Out it goes to Berrigan, Berrigan taken by King, who again came off his wing. He's taken the chances, Matt King, and so far he's come up trumps all the time. There's the kick from Lockyer on the final tackle. Stacks on the mill. Held up, got the ball down. Queensland try. I think it's Brad Thorne. It is. Brad Thorne has scored for Queensland. The biggest player on the field. He left for that one. And the decision to turn down the penalty shot in front. It's come up trumps for them. How are we going to outjump that man? Well, He's he a monster. He was, thought he was back on a line out for the All Blacks. <laughs> he went up for that one. It's a beautiful kick, just shaves the upright. And look at Brad Thorne, up he goes. He's done that plenty of times and had the uh, foresight to really bend around, get the ball down, try time. The chase was very good. They stayed just behind Darren Lockyer. They had the momentum in the jump over the top of Braden Nasta. And a 
it's a super take. Billy Slater was doing his best. Flannery was there. The big number eight able to out jump all the New South Wales defenders and scored adjacent to the post. 8 6 coming up in just a moment. So Brad Thorne scores the second try of Origin 2. Both tries coming off kicks. The New South Wales try coming off a kick from Johns. The Queensland try coming off a kick from Lockyer. What else would you expect? Big ask for Brad Thorne, isn't it? No Shane Webke in rep football anymore. They lose Steve Price. Just come back to the game of rugby league and now pushed up to the front of the engine room. Smith from right in front. There's the extra two points. Matt Bowen applauding the efforts of Queensland to come back to 8-6 now. Andrew Voss sideline. Oh, that'll be a sweet feeling for Brad Thorne. You know, last game was the first time he'd actually tasted victory in a state of origin match. He had to wait nine games to get his first win in a Queensland jumper. 23 tackles, 20 hit-ups in state of origin one, and now a, a four-pointer in origin two. Kickoff time again, and Ben Ross, who's really come on with a full tank of petrol, he's run with venom. In fact, uh, Darren Lockyer and Matt Singh are the only two Queenslanders to have been members of a team to win in Sydney. Talking of Brad Thorne and that exasperating drought that he went through. Here is Carl Webb, 35 metres out from his own line. Hindmarsh, one of the tacklers, together with the Nasta. Here is Thurston with a dummy. And then he tries to slide inside his former Canterbury teammate. A quick play the ball. That's very helpful. And Cameron Smith has gone way down. On tackle number five to the Blues 40 metre line. It's back to Thurston and then it's gone on to Lockyer. They have to get themselves back on side. Crocker is with the ball. He scored a try in the first one. Gets it back to Lockyer. Here they come again. And again Matt King is back there. And again Matt King saves for the Blues. Well he's everywhere. He's doing a Matt Singh is Matt King. Saving tries all over the place, having a massive game. But Queensland looking dangerous, running on the last tackle once again. Darren Lockyer, he's very, very good tonight. Again, Lockyer. Brief and nasty. He's Ben Kennedy and his legs taken from him by Thurston. Then a nasty gets it over to Cooper, who does a little dipsy doodle and in and away before Bowman wraps him up. Not too many get through Bowman. That's very tight over there, Bowman and Singh. You wouldn't like to back yourself to get through them as Johns puts a kick down the ground to the 20 metre line. Here's Billy Slater out to 30, uses Ty Williams. Across he goes towards Matt Singh, but Cooper comes up and again they put him to ground. You can really see how important quick play the balls are as Dane Carlaw comes to the sideline. Queensland have had some good quick play the balls in the last couple of minutes and that's really helped their attack. New South Wales, a tough set of six coming out of their own end. That ball's been pushed out. It has been knocked on, so it's going to be a loose head and feed for New South Wales, just on their own side of halfway. Braith and Astor, the man responsible. Again, the referee ruling there that the ball wasn't deliberately played at. Queensland striving for their first ever win here at Telstra Stadium. And they haven't won in game two in Sydney since 1989. Some unbelievable statistics coming out of this game. And Nasta away for Gaznia, who tries to stand Ty Williams up. He, he was cool and calm, young Williams, and he brings him down with the help of a couple of teammates. His long passing for Manasta and Johns, and they go back and hit Kennedy out wide. Cooper, he goes up, and Singh comes in off his wing. And had he been able to get that pass away, Rooney would have had a passage down the left side because Matt Singh, using his experience, knew that he had to come in and take Cooper, who's down. Webb coming off, Cooper's gone down. New South Wales pressing, and Johns juggled it, got it back in. Fitzgibbon to the 30, comes to Lockyer. Then he flick passes, gets it away to Anasta. They're not going anywhere at the moment, though. And uh, Queensland's number 15 makes the tackle as Webb goes up the uh, up the alleyway towards the dressing rooms. And then John sweeps it for Gaznia. Gaznia takes it down 15 metres out from the Queensland line. Five tackles gone for the Blues. Matt King, a dummy half. It's gone to Andrew Johns. He puts the kick high and across. The jumper's on for Rooney. Matt Singh comes down with it. The ball goes backwards. And it's gone in touch in goal. Line drop out. Third of the game. 
second for Queensland. Yeah, it's a good battle out there on that uh, left wing. Luke Rooney up against Matt Singh. Reverse angle. Lovely kick by Andrew Johns. They both go for it. Matt Singh gets to it. Goes backwards. Really up trying to play with a lot of width tonight, New South Wales. To be careful they don't fall into the trap of just going from side to side without going forward. Yeah, at not some standing stage. that not standing that deep, are they, Pete? Andrew Johns very flat passes from dummy half. Cameron Smith then taking this drop kick, and it's it's much fuller than the previous one, which was taken by Darren Locke here. Here's Blathan Astor taking it back and tackled 30 metres out from the Queensland line. And Astor then to play the ball back for Danny Badiris, and now it's away for Craig Fitzgibbon, and Smith has got hold of him. Lockie is having a shot at him. Crocker is there, so is Carlaw. They're 21 away from the Queensland line. The Blues leading by two points at the moment. John's turning it back for Ryan, and Minicello puts it down. That's oh, so one of them. It's going to be a scrum, loose head and feed, this time going to Queensland, Andrew Voss, sideline. Yeah, it is a problem for Carl Webb. He's been battling a groin injury for the last few weeks. Ever since State of Origin 1, he's gone back to the rooms to undergo a bit of treatment. But uh, it is a problem, so they're one man down on the bench just at the moment. An interesting decision here by Ricky Stewart to put Craig Wing into the action. Didn't come into the game until the second half in the opening match. Combined very, very well in that game. But he's out there now, and I believe that Nathan Hindmarsh might have been interchanged. So Ben Ross it is for Queensland who gets the ball away and uh, Ty Williams did well to pick it up. He's tackled just outside the 40 metre line with Kennedy. He's everywhere tonight, Ben Kennedy. He's racking up a huge tackle count and here is Thorne now a couple of metres into the uh, New South Wales half. It's gone away to Thurston and now to Lockie. He double pumps it and holds it back and he's tackled on the 40 metre line. Tackle five for Queensland on the western side. They go to the middle and Thurston, he puts a kick down but Rooney's got no pressure there. On his 10 metre line, he runs about oh, 10, 12 metres before he comes to the defence. And Hindmarsh is off. That's Simpson next to him. So Wing has gone on to replace Hindmarsh. Here's Cooper now with the ball. 30 metres out from his own line, and again the Queenslanders muscle up four of them. And it's almost impregnable. And that is an interesting rotation there. You've still got Danny Badira as a dummy half. Craig Wing is out there, so too Andrew Johns. The three of the small nippy men still around the play the ball area. The only thing really breaking both defensive patterns has been the boot, the kick of Johns, the kick of Lockyer to the halfway line this time for Fitzgibbon to play at Badiris. That was a forward pass. It's gone to Johns, and Johns gets it away to Gaznia. Gaznia gets his arms free, dangerously so. On his inside was Minicello. It's played quickly, and Johns goes to the 20. He puts the kick high again. Where's Slater? He's getting across. Up they go, and down they come. The ball is loose. Queensland have got the ball. Yeah, Billy Slater knocked on, and Chris Flannery very close to being offside. This will be a New South Wales scrum feed in the best attacking position you can have on a football field. Yeah, Jason Rolls, a few stitches on his chin there. He had a good first opening, 20 minutes as well. And he's Luke in trouble, Rooney's Luke crook. Rooney. And Michael Hagen is about to counter Craig Wing into the game with Matt Bowen in after just half an hour. So a chance here for New South Wales to widen their lead. Stephen Clark wants it in again. I'd be looking to go the other far side with Matt Cooper. Big space there, two attackers on two defenders. Cooper will never get more room than now. They come this side. Johns comes to the right for Anasta and Minicello knocks on. Here's Billy Slater getting a loose ball. It is a foot race in Origin 2. Slater racing away inside the 10 metres and Queensland again off an interceptor able to score. Queensland hit the lead. We'll take a break and be back for the kick in just a moment. So, this wonderfully talented former track work rider, Billy Slater, performing at the highest level. 
And we welcome you back live to the State of Origin from the Telstra Stadium. And Rooney is coming off, but Queensland have hit the lead per medium of Slater. It is 10-8. It's great news for Queensland. All bad for New South Wales, not only conceding a try when they were on the attack. Billy Slater, there is no substitution for speed in the game of rugby league. And this young man is endowed with plenty of it. Minicello, he did his best. He did a great job to take a little bit of ground off the ball carrier. And the final indignity now for New South Wales, it is injury to insult. Luke Rooney leaving the field. Yeah, can't state of origin change on a whim. I mean, there's New South Wales attacking only 10 metres out. 15 seconds later, Queensland putting the ball over down the far end. Billy Slater built for speed. Steve Menzies looks like he's going to replace Luke Rooney. That might mean uh, one of the centres, probably Cooper, moving out to the wing. Menzies has, has played plenty of centre before. Cameron Smith to convert. 10 in, 20 out to the northern end. Struck it beautifully. Never left the line. So Cameron Smith has converted the try of Billy Slater. They both turn 22 this coming Saturday. It is 12-8, Andrew Voss sideline. And Cameron Smith having kicked the goal straight off, Matt Bowen on. Carl Webb treaded on the groin of the dressing room in the New South Wales room. Same injury for Luke Rooney, and the early signs are that Rooney will not be back. So bad news for New South Wales. And it's a very high kick off from the Blues to take us into the next section of this game. And Ross has met and tackled about 15 metres out from his own line. Play in the centre of the ground as Bowen in 17 passes up to Sivan Asiba and Sivan Asiba is taken by Ryan and by Kennedy and by Anasta. And Bowen a dummy half passes again for Carlor and Carlor who was responsible I suppose for the drawn result that they did achieve here at Telstra in 2002. Slater, he will play the ball 40 out. Menzies is on, he's playing on the left side of the New South Wales defence. Seven Asiba to the halfway line now. 12 8 the scoreboard in favour of Queensland. They trail 8 0 in the early part of the game as Lockyer drives it down. The bounce is good for Anthony Minicello. He's outside the 10 and he's coming out towards the 20, but he's not going to make it quite that far. Queensland's chase was good. Flannery and Ross, the two in question. Cooper from dummy half makes his run runs towards Crocker and Sivan Asiba Crocker has been doing some wonderful clean up work for Queensland as has King for New South Wales one wonders what the score might have been without those two players in the game Bailey plays it now it goes away from Badiris and goes to Johns and Johns turns the ball in for a Nasta I'm just wondering how he's feeling how much petrol's in that Andrew Johns tank at the moment it's with Kennedy who crosses the halfway line and he runs it Again at Ben Ross and Dane Carlaw and uh, on the 40 metre line. Queensland's end of the ground. Johns on camera as it comes to him now. He runs, he's got players both sides. It's a flat pass, it's a line ball at a Minicello. Picked up by Wing, given to Johns. Johns puts some, uh, puts some width in the attack. King puts a kick back in. Fitzgibbon takes it, gets the ball back to Baderas. Baderas to Minicello. He thrusts the ball down on the ground, it's loose. Queensland appear to have it. Penalty goes to the Blues, offside. Yeah, cool. The ball was on the deck, looks like Queensland might have even knocked it on and then an offside position. Well, Andrew uh, Johns is asking the sideline, do we take two? Well, I think Ricky Stewart has said no and they take the quick tap, Johns with the football. They're 12 metres out from the line and Master goes away to Andrew Ryan, the Canterbury captain. He will play the ball just a couple of metres out from the line. Menzies, a prolific try scorer, has a dig, gets the ball back. It's come away from Kennedy. It's gone across now. It's with Kennedy now. It was Fitzgibbon who passed the ball. He lays it back on the ground, and it's come down to Queensland. Thurston passes for Ben Ross, and some of the power has gone from those runs that Ben was making just a couple of minutes ago. Berrigan goes in from the centres to take a dummy half run. Fitzgibbon and Kennedy together with Wing making the tackle. 22 metres out from the Queensland line. Play back for Bowen. He decides to have a go. Gets away from Johns, but he's taken over the top by Fitzgibbon. Played back to Williams. Williams to Singh. One winger passing to the other, and Singh has tackled 40 out. Gets the pass away. Here's Thurston now, working up the middle. Gets away from one, but it did enough to stop him for Bailey to dive on him. But Queensland are on the attack on tackle number five. Lockie has passed to Slater. Goes to ground. Knock on Queensland. Two and yes. a half minutes of the first half to go. Last tackle changeover. Both teams very willing to run the football on the fifth tackle. 
On that occasion, it went wrong for the Maroons, and now trouble, a penalty against them. Lockyer talking to the referee. Didn't penalise it. Didn't see it. Saw that one, was quite clear. It's against Billy Slater. And John's finding the line about 10 metres into Queensland's territory. John Cartwright, one of the assistant coaches to Ricky Stewart out there. You could see him saying, settle it down, settle it down. We're trying to score on every play. Fitzgibbon will play the ball, 39 metres away from the Queensland line. Play in the centre of the park. As it goes with Badiris, he goes up the middle. Picked up his first origin try in Queensland three weeks ago. He plays the ball, 25 out, they go to the short side. Bailey, Bailey runs hard. Thurston makes a very good tackle with Singh. Now it comes away from Badiris, it's out to Johns. Johns gets it onto Anasta, Anasta back on the inside for Minicello. And Minicello will play the ball. He's eight metres out, right in front of the uprights, as you can see on that wide shot. Play back to Badiris, gone to Johns again, steps off his left foot. He changes the point of the attack, and has to get to the way to Craig Wing. And it's gone to ground! It was touched by Queensland. Did he play at the football? Yes, he did. Touched by Queensland. So this will be another New South Wales feed. A lot of panic football tonight by the Blues. Ty Williams intercepts, then it went forward. New South Wales packing their scrum so that uh, referee Stephen Clark had to call time off, stop the clock until Queensland, Queensland are ready. We're one and a quarter minutes out from half time. It is 12 8 in favour of Queensland. Out! As New South Wales win the scrum, Johns goes away to Anasta. Anasta goes left and it goes to Minicello. He beats Slater. And then he's tackled eight metres out from the line by Thurston and Singh. They're a little bit light down the short side. And oh, Fitzgibbon knocks on. That's where he was heading. So Queensland should now be able to carry this four-point lead to the break. Fitzgibbon was running open towards what I thought was a light blind. And uh, it didn't come off. He had the play made before he actually had ball security. Here's Carlor. 30 metres out from their own line. Bowen using Ross and Ross is taken by Johns and Gaznia. Johns hasn't been involved in a lot of defense. He's been playing the old sweeper role for a, a goodly part of the first half. His Berrigan, he's brought down 20 seconds of the half to go. Fifth tackle for Queensland to the hands of Lockyer, then to the boot, and he punches it uh, over the sideline. So this scrum will barely have time to pack. Neither team will be keen to get down to the point that has been marked by Stephen Clark, but Lockyer with a kick, brought a try for Brad Thorne. Johns with a kick, brought a try for Minicello. And then we saw a runaway intercept from Billy Slater. So 12-8 is the score. Johns looks, he looks okay for a bloke that's had nine games in two years. Queensland leading at the break at this Hoodoo Stadium. They've never won at Telstra, but they're in front at half time. As we welcome you back live to State of Origin 2 at the Telstra Olympic Stadium here in Sydney. A great night for rugby league and the capacity crowd totally enthralled by what's there, what they're seeing. At the moment, it's not the scoreboard they wanted, though. Queensland leading the Blues by 12 points to eight. In fact, for Queensland, their oldest and the youngest players have scored the tries. Thorne and Slater the tries. Smith has added their extras. And Minicello has scored the New South Wales try with Fitzgibbon adding the extras for them. And Ray, to illustrate New South Wales' problem, Queensland are, are very good when they're in front, especially at half time. They've been there 20, 30, 26 times, I'm sorry. And they've gone on to win the game on 22 occasions. They know how to win when they lead after 40. Michael Hagan just giving them a final rev as he leaves the, the dressing rooms and they make the trudge back out onto Telstra Stadium. Matthew Johns is down there with a the guest. Yes, Matthew. Laurie, what did Ricky say at half time? Obviously, to be very patient. We looked as though we were rushing things towards the end of the first half. So we think if we can play with a bit more patience, just stay a little bit more relaxed with the football, we think we can get him at the back end of the game. I think it's look good when you play a little bit more expansive, but as you said, pushing those passes. Yeah, exactly right, mate. I mean, that's always been part of the game plan, to, to push them wide, try and get them tied towards the back end of the game. We spoke about true origin contests being won at the end of the game. We get a great opportunity now to prove to ourselves that that's when they're won. Good on your loss. Thank you, mate.
Queensland on their way back. So two of them lose. Queensland with 40 minutes now to hang on to win the series. And it'll be the first series victory for them outright since 2001. Johns has got his job done. Just how his fitness is standing up remains to be seen. So far, so good for him. Phil Gould has summed it up. His kicking game, his ability to spread the ball. It's given the Blues a new dimension, but still the men in the row. They play with great hunger, they play with passion. And just when you think you've got them, they jump back and uh, they just won't go away. Yeah, the concern for Andrew Johns tonight is the tighter he gets, the less chance he is of taking the line on individually. And that takes away one of the big components in his game. Big prize at the end of this 40 minutes for Queensland. I'm sure they spoke about that at halftime. They can take the third match out of this series. If they can come up with a big 40 minutes and capitalise on what they've done leading into halftime. Blues have only ever come back once in origin history. Having lost the first, there's probably the two best players in the game today, Lockyer and Johns. But the Blues have only come back once after losing the first match of a series. That was in 1994. To take that series, Ricky Stewart was the number seven then. As Lockyer takes us into the second half, it's a deepish kickoff, but perfect control over it. And a Nasta gives it away for Fitzgibbon to go back. 15 away from the Blues line. And he's into touch. Well, that's great defence by Queensland. They will get the loose head and feed 20 metres out now. Oh, you couldn't get a better start if you're a Queensland supporter. This is great work. There's four Queenslanders in there against Fitzgibbon. The New South Wales support came late. Always in motion, that tackle. That's fair enough. First in. Fires it out to Lockyer, and Lockyer gets it on to Slater Tackle up into his back line. Over. He's tackled and ridden into the ground. 20 oh, metres out no. from the line. Tackled by Minicello. It's gone away for Sivan Asiba, and Bailey goes underneath. Ryan comes over the top, and Badiris again is involved. Now they're in the middle of the ground. They're 15 out. Thurston shows it inside, goes out for Flannery. And Flannery is pulled down there by Fitzgibbon and Kennedy and Johns. They're 10 away. Queensland with... The chance to pull the trigger first in the second half. Thurston for Lockyer, Lockyer. Decoy run from Crocker, Slater. Well read on the far side again by that man, Matt King, on the right side. Here is Bowen showing it, stepping, getting it away. Slater is there, puts his arm up. And Slater is tackled, two metres out, tackle five. Uh, Braithen Astor slow to get back in the line. Bowen, away it goes to Crocker. Crocker to Lockyer, it goes away to Ty Williams. There's another try. Another try for Williams. No, a little forward pass. pass. Yeah, the last pass was forward to Williams. And that'll be a changeover. Yeah, they smell a weakness there. They saw break the Nasta getting up slowly. This pass, the last one, from Sean Berrigan to Ty Williams has been ruled forward. And New South Wales... Peter, I know there's a, a positional change there with the Blues. Steve Menzies now playing at right, at right centre with Matt King on that right wing. And on the left side... You've got Gazni and Cooper. Gazni is actually playing left wing. This fits given now. 45 metres away from the Blues line. By Joe, that must have been a very close call for Stephen Clark. And his touch judge, it looked... 40-20. It's a 40-20, it's there! Oh. So, as Paul Horton said in the first half, that's origin, one second, you're down there with a chance, you've got the points counted. And then they hurt you at the other end of the park. There's the kick. Well, there's absolutely nothing Queensland could have done about that. Matt Singh flew back. Seemed to be a little bit earlier in the tackle count from Andrew Johns. Johns now. For Minatella to the 20 metre line, running it at Lockyer, bouncing away from Lockyer, who goes at him again and pulls him down this time. With some assistance out there from Berrigan. Now it is Braith and Astor who gets it to within seven metres of the line. They're good metres. 
as Badiris waits for the play the ball. It comes out to the left for Johns, and Johns turns it back for Andrew Ryan, and Ryan is held. Two metres out from the line. Badiris, again, the call from Johns on the left, and he gives it on the inside. Here's a chance for Kennedy. Kennedy's pulled down a metre out. Magnificent tackle there by Thurston. Played back to Badiris. It's gone away on the bounce. It's with Craig Wing on the 10 metre line, showing it. They keep, they keep letting him run. And Craig Wing has tackled on five. Three away from the line. Ryan, a nest up. Little kick by a nest, fielded by Queensland. Did they get an advantage? They haven't got the ball. Blues have got it. Play on. Play on the ruling. King to within five metres again of the Queensland line. Well, how much more can they weather as they cut out a player running a decoy? Johns gives the ball away. New South Wales on the attack, just five metres out from the line one more time. As it goes away for Johns again, and away it goes to Anasta. Gets it away, surely! Yes, it's a try! Minicello, I fancy, has got his second try of the night and his sixth try in Origin football. Great vision there from Andrew Johns. He went from the left side of the field to the right side. Great the Nasta running into a hole. Johns, as we freeze it there, you can see that this man on the Bundy Run Telestrator is able to put a move on his defender as play continues. He'll come in, he'll straighten. That opens up the hole for the outside runner, Anthony Minicello. Wonderful support player. Slams the football down for 40-20. Gave him the opportunity off the boot of Johns. Yeah, way to possession, taking its toll on the Queensland defence, which had been very, very strong. And it's the Andrew John, John show in the first five minutes of the second half, the 40-20. Then he conducted play beautifully inside that Queensland 20-metre zone. Inside balls, cut-out passes, face balls. You had, you had the lot going. And we were led to believe that Craig Fitzgibbon would be... Well, Craig Fitzgibbon, look, was uh, interchanged three minutes into the second That's half, yes. by Jason Riles. It's an early change. Here's Johns now. Ten in, 20 out. Struck it well! It's there! Flags are in the air. Vossi on the sideline. Oh, listen to this crowd lift now at Telstra Stadium. They have really come alive. Now, the injury update from both sides. Carl Webb. 50-50 chance of returning, nursing that groin injury. It is an old injury for Carl, but for Luke Rooney, his night is over. Very sadly for Luke Rooney, he's had some great moments here at Telstra, but tonight the disappointment, he'll watch this second half from the dressing room. Darren Lockyer then takes us into the next passage of play. Marked by Mark Gaznier, and he gives it away for uh, the Dragons' teammate, Riles, to be tackled 11 away from his own line. Tackled by Carlor and Ross. They go back for Bailey to take a run. He runs it at Sivan Asiba. And Sivan Asiba and Ross put him down on the 20-metre line. Play back to Badiris. The man playing the ball didn't get much help from the marker. Here is Ryan with this run that ends just inside the 30-metre line. The Blues end of the park. Badiris with a short ball for Johns linking up and Menzies. Menzies puts a hip on his defender before taking the tackle. And just into Queensland territory, they sweep the ball back to the middle of the ground. And Craig Wing almost surrendering at the hands of Dane Carlaw. And he's hurt himself, I fancy. Wing getting up gingerly. It's gone away for the boot of Johns and he decides to test the air. High it goes. Up they go. Down it comes. Badiris throws the ball away. Cooper is with the ball. Six more tackles ruled. Now Ryle straightens it up. And he will play the ball 15 out from the line. Badiris looking for Bailey, and here's Badiris putting a step on. He's so close, Badiris! He's a metre from the line as Bailey finds himself a dummy half. Now Johns is away to the right. Bailey decided to go himself, and he pushes and shoves with leg drive, but they force him back. Good Queensland defence again, and again Jonathan Thurston there. Badiris low for Johns, wide for Wing. Left foot, right foot. Menzies will score! Menzies! He is over to score! His fourth origin try. We'll see it again in a moment. Prolific try scorer. 
I remember in the middle 90s, you people in England would recall, uh, I think it was the last Kangaroo Tour, 94. He scored something like 11 tries for the Kangaroos. He's the greatest forward try scorer at Manly in their club history. There's Beaver Menzies. He's one of the most popular players in the league. At 18-12, he has scored yet another origin try. He's all class too, Menzies. And on the Bundy Rum Telestrators, we freeze it there. You can see that the man catching the football has got outside his defender, and that, again, is open, opening up space on the outside as play continues. Craig Wing, the width of the passing game, again coming off a kick. The high kick, Billy Slater couldn't gather it in. Six again signalled. New South Wales have exploded out of the blocks in the second half. That's the assignment for Andrew Johns to convert. He's three in from touch. He's 23 out in front of the Eastern Grandstand. And the kick on its way. I think he's got it again. Yes, the flags are up again. Johns, the legend, is kicking magnificently. Oh, was there ever any doubt in his comeback game? And the Craig Wing in and away. He's playing as a second receiver. Beautiful stuff there by New South Wales. Well, it's been a big, uh, a big opening 10 minutes for them. And an inspired interchange. Jason Riles, since he has been on, has been outstanding up the middle. So they're back to that eight-point lead that they enjoyed early in the game. And I reckon that Ricky Stewart will get Nathan Highmarsh in to play the final half hour of this game, and he will tackle himself to a standstill. There he Highmarsh is. Highmarsh on the bench at the moment alongside Craig Fitzgibbon. And here is Bailey in a personal wrestle out there at the moment with Carlo and Thurston. Full marks to Thurston. He pulled off at least one try-saving tackle, got involved in a couple of others. It's not the work of a number seven, but he's been getting the job done. Here is Riles again coming to Thurston. Thurston accepts the challenge, brings him down. They're about 15 metres on their own side of the halfway. They're inside the 40. Watch for Johns. Johns decides to pass this time. Wingers with the ball, gets the ball back. Catch pass Kennedy. Gone away to Minicello, and he's tackled. The dual try scorer Minicello. Then Badiris. Now Johns gets that kick off from inside the 40 but it's drifting down towards Slater who runs away from the 20 and outside the 30 and now he's 35 now he's 45 and he goes into touch but no the touch he said he got rid of the ball in time it's scooped up and cleaned up by Bowman Thurston getting it off for Brad Thorne one of the two Queensland try scorers Thorne to play at 40 metres out from his own line Ty Williams who was denied a try early in the second half. I thought it looked okay, but it was ruled forward. Halfway line for Queensland. Lockyer's with the ball off his left foot and runs back into the defensive um, players of New South Wales. Craig Wing that time. Here's Thurston looking for Sivan Asiba to come up on his inside. Arriving late was Bowen. 33 metres out. It's gone from Maguire. Gone to Lockyer. Lockyer is 22 metres away, tackle number five is there for Queensland, Ryan was the tackler, it's gone to the right, gone to Thurston, puts the right foot onto it, here comes the jump, up they go, Gaslia, Gaslia's taken it in goal, 20 metre restart, that took courage, that was pressure. Well I can't ever remember Mark Gaslia playing on the left wing for the Dragons, but he's handling it pretty well tonight. That was good football all round, wasn't it, the kick was pinpoint, the chase was good, and Jonathan Thurston is the man for Queensland. Every time he's run the football, he's looked very, very dangerous. He needs a little bit more support, both inside and outside. This is Matt King, just inside the 30-metre line, right in the centre of the park. Smith and Sivan to Sivan making the tackle. Kennedy has been very, very strong. He's led by example in both departments of our game, both attack and defence. He plays the ball back for the non-stop captain, Badiris, then Bailey. Bailey is held and forced down three metres on his own side of halfway. There's Heimars getting ready, Peter, about to come into the game. But Dearest, back it goes to Anasta, looked inside, decided to step off his right foot. He's taken there. He'll be made to play the ball. Trying to get through Bowman is like trying to get through a brick wall. Smith was involved uh, minutely. Now it's gone from wing, gone to Johns. Johns, dummies! He breaks the line! Yeah, forward pass, Andrew Johns takes them on, makes the bust, gets through with support. Stephen Clark was right in line for the Baderas pass. Look at this, gets through some tied defence, Baderas there. He knows there's blue supporters on the left, hoiks it. 
but it drifted forward to Matt Cooper. And the referee could not have been in a better position. Delight turning into despair on the sidelines of the New South Wales camp. And that's really the first time Johns has taken the line on tonight. I was worried that, that his fitness might not allow that second half, but the possession is allowing him to conserve some energy. Berrigan. Sean with the ball, middle of the ground. 20 metres out. Now Casey Maguire. Who played his debut match at Suncorp three weeks ago. Here's Brad Thorne. Played just inside the 40 metre line. Queensland's end of the ground. Rooney has gone for the night. Carl Webb may come back. Bowen, he's the man they really have to keep a close eye on. The markers have to work. They must not go to sleep because young Matty Bowen, he can he can bust anything. Here's Thurston away to Bowman. Bowman off the ground, passes. Thurston goes back, recovers. It's a dance between Thurston and Highmarsh, and eventually they finish on the floor. Thurston now plays it back for Smith. Away it comes for Bowman, and he decides to kick. The bounce is good for Minicello. He turns defense into attack immediately runs to Lockyer gets away from him Matt King is going up the middle out towards the 40 meter line just been put off their game for a moment there the Maroons last tackle they go to Paul Bowman on the short side that's not what they would have trained for Minicello now he's getting dangerously close to the eastern touch line 20 points to 12 coming up towards 55 minutes of origin two gone Menzies who picked up one of the Three tries for New South Wales. Two to Minicello, one to Menzies. Ball played back. Wing comes left, goes to Inesta, puts on a sprint from the 40 metre line. It ends 33 metres out from the Queensland line. Play again in the centre of the ground. Badiris goes out to Johns and Johns looks inside, then runs again. Johns is in space, puts a kick in, bounces off a Queenslander who didn't play at the ball. Badiris away to Wing now. Wing is 15 out, uses Gaznia. Gaznia has taken the ground. He's not held, Gaznia. Gets up and goes again. Tackled on five. Ten away from the line. Played back for Badiris to Johns. There's trouble here. Wing is tackled. Turnover. You could see another try coming. They were really playing the ball quickly. Andrew Johns just keeps getting better and better as this match goes on. The Queenslanders, they look very tired. Plenty of players with hands on hips. They've got to find some ticker, they've got to find some heart, they've got to lift. Well, they've got to find some football. They've had no possession at the start of this second half. That's how the first game went, on the back of possession. And that's how this one is starting to pan out as well. Just 41% and very little since we've come back from the break. Ty Williams has come in looking to take a run away from Dummy Half. Had some pressure away from the, the big men and his Ty, Ty Williams tackled. One of six Cowboys again in this side. They've done well, haven't they, the Cowboys? Who's Berrigan? And of course, uh, the, the side made up very much of Broncos and Cowboys. Six apiece this time, this time round, as Lockyer puts the kick down the ground. And Gasny are going back, and he'll have to play with the ball and bring it away from the uh, try line. He comes outside the 10, goes for a little bit of accelerator, is tackled 25 metres out from his line. Ryan is the dummy half. He's looking over at Minicello, but Minicello says, you take it away. He takes it out towards the 30-metre line. And he's met by a Queensland tackle comprised of Thorne and Cameron Smith. And here's Minicello now trying to dance his way through a gap. But Crocker, his uh, Roosters teammate, uh, makes the tackle with the Roosters coach watching from the sideline, watching like an eagle hawk as King or Smith Simpson it is, who's tackled right on the halfway line. He plays the ball back. It's come away from Badiris, and then it's gone to Anastar. He plugs the ball down. It sits up and bounces now down into the hands of Slater. And Slater, who scored that runaway intercept try, is banged into the ground. Solid tackle by Anastar. He looks down at him and says, how's that? Here's Thorne with the ball now, 15 away from his own line. He's taken down by Ryan and company with Simpson and Badiris. Now Crocker runs it back towards the markers, looking for them to get tired, looking for them to go, uh, to go hiding. The tackle is made, though, by Simpson and Hindmarsh. It's gone from Bowen and gone over to Ross, and Ross has tackled. There's an appeal for a high tackle, but it's not forthcoming. He's not getting up, though, Ben. Well, he's going to bravely Ryan might have been the offender there were a couple in it now it's away for Bowman gets rid of break the master tackled by Johns and players about seven meters on the Queensland side of halfway left foot kick lock yeah down it goes it's very very deep the bounce is good for Queensland though it's with Minicello he's got King with him but come um, 15 meters out from the line Minicello beats one but Crocker has got him 
parcels him up and puts him away. Well, the next five to ten minutes of this game determines the chances of Queensland. They look tired, they've had no football, plenty of defence. New South Wales, they're putting the, the foot on the pedal. They believe that they could wrap it up. Queensland, they've got to remain solid. 20 to 12, the score in favour of the Blues. And the Blues with the ball through Stephen Menzies. 35 out from his own line. King, a long pass. And Nasta not going anywhere. Johns, he rifles the ball away. And it's gone from Cooper and gone to Gaznia. Gaznia's got Cooper on his inside. He passes. He's away, Cooper. The Dragons have done it. The Dragons send a combination. Gaznia and Cooper. But Johns again. Johns is dominating. We'll see it again in just a moment. Here's a break. talk to our network stations taking us overseas we are just in a, a mini break here at the moment but you are watching the world's best in action and he's not up against just any old team this is a, a very very good representation of Queensland thousands of people here watching If that's the cauldron at Suncorp, this is the Coliseum in Sydney, the Olympic Stadium. The Blues out to 24-12 now. They would love this conversion to go over to put them further than two converted tries. Andrew Johns threw a great ball, but so too great the Nasta in that movement. They played a little bit of interchange here, and Nasta went to first receiver. Johns out wide. I love the way that Mark Gasnia just put the foot down, put his head back, took on Billy Slater and worried about what happened if he got caught. And what he was able to do was throw the football back inside to his Dragons teammate. John's here. It is a big quick kick for New South Wales. He, he has not had an easy one. Both from the same position, opposite side of the ground. Five in, 22 out. Strikes it, keeps it low. I think he's got it. He has. John's has kicked three from three. Phil Gould, sideline. Yeah, thanks, Ravis. Look, Ricky Stewart's got to get a big pack on the back here. At half-time, or just before half-time, New South Wales will be behind on the scoreboard, and they'll in a panic. He has settled them down at half-time. They've come out for the second 40 minutes looking like a composed football team. The long passing from Andrew Johns in the first 40 minutes is starting to take effect. He's had Queensland sliding sideways, suddenly a couple of dummies, and he's got himself into the backfield. Now as Queensland compress to try and get him, he gets the ball wide again and goes to Cooper and Gaznia. The game plan has been perfect for the Blues. Move them around, turn them around, and then come back through the middle. When they close up again, go wide again. The Blues are in control. Still 20 minutes left on the clock, but I like the look of this. The scary thing, of course, is that Andrew Johns, with just the one game under his belt since breaking the jaw, can only get better. That's impossible to believe, isn't it? But you would have to think he can only get better. Bailey plays the ball, Badiris passes, Johns kicks off the 30-meter line. It's a kick with some volume, but it's taken by the the flashy fullback Billy Slater. What a crowd pleaser. Michael Hagan, he's won one game this year from 15 matches at Premiership and, tri at Premiership and Trial level. The one that he won was at Suncorp three weeks ago. Now it's gone from Ty Williams, it's gone to Ben Ross, and the Blues then have to muscle up. Three of them in the defence, making the tackle, and Ross getting up he was hurt earlier in a what we thought might have been a high shot on him but he he's played the ball has gone away to slater has gone out to matt singh and singh in his 23rd origin appearance has tackled 31 meters out from the blues line 26 to 12 he he was hurt in that tackle singh he's hard to hurt he's very durable thurston will play it now 25 out five tackles gone queensland attacking now lock out with the left foot there she goes, high and across towards Gaznia. Cooper tries to give him some cover. It came down off Queensland, I fancy, and it's gone into touch. In that situation, as a defender, you don't want to contest the football. Close to the sideline, let the opposition catch it, claim them if they do take it on the full. But it was better still, the ball went over the sideline as Bull Bailey tackled 15 out. Danny Badiris getting a break. Here's Simpson. Got his job done magnificently in the opening 15 minutes of the game for his coach. Blues started with Simpson and Bailey on the bench, and Simpson 
He put his hand up and did a good job for Ricky Stewart. Now Hayne Marsh plays the ball and away goes Craig Wing, scampering, flashing down the middle of the ground, out towards the 40 metre line, taken down by Flannery, the lock forward and Ross. Now Ryan, out to the halfway line, they're making metres and metres from dummy half, just simple plays, five tackles gone now as Ryan plays the ball and wing passes to uh, uh, Johns and Johns puts a raking kick back and across for Slater to come off his 10 metre line, Co holds the ball in the one hand and tucks it, oh, he throws a hospital pass and Tyne Williams is claimed by Matt King. That's a Matt King special, he's had a big game tonight Matt King. That's a good a tackle as you'd see for back into the game. Fawn taken down by Bailey's tackle. Ben Ross runs it straight and hard, runs it wing and Kennedy. And play is just 25 metres out from the Queensland line. Matt Singer, I told you he was hurt, he's come to the sidelines. It is 26 to 12 in favour of New South Wales, a game that has been inspired by the return of one of our game's greatest players, Matthew Johns. Now, it's gone with Cameron Smith. He dummies to Casey Maguire. He gets it outside the 40-metre line. Bailey hangs on. Highmarsh does the same. Simpson comes in. And Johns is there on camera as we promote again that opportunity to win the big money from VB. Here's Menzies picking up a bouncing ball and going for the going for the pace, he's tackled 45 metres out from the Queensland line as Singh goes up the tunnel, it's played back and gone away, it's with Minicello who's already got a couple in his bag tonight, six overall in origin but two tonight, and Minicello will play the ball, break the Nasta is the dummy half, Gaznia is left Kennedy is right, it is with a Nasta he goes to Kennedy, he runs towards Gaznia, now he tries to straighten off his left foot, he's tackled 28 away from the line and a couple of metres in from the western touchline. Gaznia dummy half now. Off it goes to Anasta. Puts on the sprint. Turns it back to Heimarsh. And Heimarsh is tackled. And it was a good tackle by Casey Maguire. Now from wing. It's gone out to Johns. Here he is again, Johns. Out it goes to Menzies. Menzies is tackled two metres out from the line. Quick play the ball. The Blues. They put a kick in. Michael Crock has got the ball. And he's tackled 15 out from his line. Yeah, ordinary finish to a great set of six there by the Blues, but let's see what Queensland have got. They seem bereft of ideas as to how to crack this Blues line. They've had no football. Little men like this man, Sean Berrigan, yes, dummy half run. That's a good 10, 12 metres. Well, Fatty, the problems that they've got is not only the scoreboard, but the fact no Carl Webb or Matt Singh. Uh, they're going to try and get this done with, with just 15 players. That's going to be a task. Some fancy play or attempted fancy play by Thurston it went down to Flannery fortunately for Queensland Bowman off one knee back and going again but Wing is there to make the tackle with Heinmarsh and Cooper played back to Ross and it's gone back to Lockyer who reaches back then he puts a kick in for Slater Slater's looking for the bounce it's come down off the Blues and it's come away with Kennedy I thought there might have been a touch of a knock on there Cooper goes up the middle and Cooper is tackled by Ben Ross and by Paul Bowman Played just inside their own 40 metre line as Gaznier invites Ben Ross to get involved. 26 12, the Blues leading with about 15 minutes of the game remaining. And here is Heinmarsh to the halfway. He's away from one, he's through another. It's a stampeding run. And the Parramatta back rower. He will play it on the Queensland 40 metre line. He will play it back to fullback Minicello, who decides to run a couple of paces before giving it to Riles, and that line is the 30-metre line. That's the Queensland room. Matt Singh mounting the repair bench. It's gone now from a Johns, and it's gone out to Big King, and King is tackled 21 metres away as they run towards that northeastern corner. It's come back to Johns in the middle of the ground. He puts the kick up, and Gasly is underneath it. The bat down has come down for Queensland. It's gone forward off the Blues. It's turnover Queensland. Well, that'll be the plan for New South Wales in the remaining 13 minutes. Get a good kicking game going. Play it at this end of the field. It's just a fence now for them, isn't it? They've got some wonderful defenders out there. And players like Nathan Heimars, of course, what he made, about 48 tackles in the first State of Origin about? match. Tonight, only 20, and that's why he's been a lot more effective in attack. He's made a couple of busts in the last five minutes. 25 metres out from their own line, the Queenslanders. As it goes from Smith and then to Thurston, then to Lockyer. Johns came up awkwardly and missed him badly. 
30 metres out from the Queensland line. From Smith, it's gone over to Flannery, drifts the pass across to Ty Williams, and King has put him into touch. He thrusts the ball back in field for Michael Crocker, and Crocker is held there by Riles and by Wing. He got the ball away to Cameron Smith, and Cameron um, stops in his tracks as he hears the call from Flannery. Flannery's tackled right on halfway. Played there in the Harvey Norman sign. It comes away from Thurston, gone to Lockyer. Short ball. Here he goes. Matty Bowen. Matty Bowen at full pace. Bowen scores. Another origin try. Magnificent stuff from uh, Matt Bowen. We'll take a break. Back in a moment. There's not too many people leaving, are there? They've just again seen this little bloke, and I, I probably had the audacity to compare him with Clive Church in a match I called the other night. The same size, and he's just as brilliant. Try scorer Matt Bowen on camera. That's his third origin try in his seventh origin game. And when you don't think you're in trouble, when you think you're comfortable, that's a problem. They come wide on the Bundy Rum Telestrator. If he frees it there, you can see that the ball carrier has been able to attract two defenders. And this man, just behind, doesn't even look like he's in the play, but he's going to explode through, in that, through that gap as play continues. Matt Cooper was sliding, trying to stay to his man. And then it was a foot race. No one's going to cover Matt Bowen with 40 metres of free grass to run. Well, you cannot write them off. Write them off at your own peril. It was a beautifully delayed pass by Locker. Matt Bowen scores. They're back into it. And that'll lift him. This will lift him. He can get the, kick this one. Five in from touch. 22 out from the western side for the Melbourne Storm representative, one of three of them. Cameron Smith bangs it. It's gone out in front of the upright, so he's missed it from an acute angle. Andrew, sideline, 10-point ball game. Oh, how exciting is it, though, with Matty Bowen? He's on for the injured Matt Singh, but it's quite obvious his instructions from the bench. Just be where the ball is. Look, he's that quick when he gets in the clear. Even his shadow has trouble keeping up with him. What an exciting player. Well, this might sound a bit strange, but the pressure is actually on New South Wales now. They're probably the team looking nervously over their shoulder. Queensland get a second chance. New South Wales, are they looking at the scoreboard? They're looking at the clock. And when you start doing that, it can lead to problems. If Queensland can run something in here in the next couple of minutes, as I say, New South Wales very nervous because they know that it's, it's everything or nothing. Brad Thorne, first in for Flannery, and Flannery is held and taken down by Gasnier, and also by Cooper that time. And then first in again, Thorne on a short pass, is out to the 40-metre line. He'll play the ball 20 metres in from touch on the western side, playing it back to Smith. Oh, yeah, we know about their comebacks, all right. Wally in 89, Coyne in 94, Carlo in 2002. They just keep doing it. So it's a Nasta now. And then it's with Minocello. But Thurston has got him. He, well, he had him. Flannery's got him now. Thurston dropped off that tackle. 40 metres out. And here's Cooper. Picked up a try for the Blues. He tries to step between a couple of tired forwards. Work there on the right ankle of Badiris. And the ball is like gold now for New South Wales. The opposition cannot score. But they are in possession. Riles goes centre field. Nasta to the left, Johns to the right. It's a wing to Johns again. And here is Simpson! And I thought for a moment he was going to be able to unload to a player running free inside. Here is Craig Wing. Off his right, off his left. They've grabbed him. The ball goes to ground. Queensland win the race for the crumbs. And Thurston will play the ball. Ten out from his own line. Flannery finding Bowman. Bowman changes direction. Goes outside the 20-metre line. 26-16, seven and a half minutes to go. Seven receiver thunders over the 20-meter line. Badiris getting some attention to the toe. And he's got the boots back on, so the captain will probably come back and finish the game. 
It's been a magnificent effort by him. It's been a non-stop performance. And it would be a shame if they do win that he's not out there at full time. But they haven't won yet. The Maroons have not given up on this one. No way known. 26-16 with Lockyer running across, putting in a kick. That's screwing back, but it's screwed right back into the arms of Gaznia. And while on Lockyer, what a beautiful pass it was from Lockyer that found Bowen. And Nasta from dummy half for Kennedy, and he thumps himself into Bowen. And Bowen goes back and has another piece of him. The little Queensland, the Cowboys, North Queensland Cowboys, fullback. He's out there on the wing at the moment. Here's Ryle thrusting it back for wing and wing to Johns. And Johns calling Ryan to come inside. And Ryan runs into Maguire. And Maguire was first there to make the tackle. But the second man in to make the tackle was Thorne. They're on the halfway line. And wing tries to generate Hindmarsh. Hindmarsh gets the ball out the back. Wing is there again. Ball goes out to Johns. Was it forward? It's gone to King. King. 32 metres out from the Queensland line. Now we're coming up to the 74th minute of the game. And it's come away to wing again. He's been very, very good, hasn't he? Now it's gone on to Johns. Johns to King! And there has to be a blemish. Yeah, once again, they failed to complete their set of six. Giving Queensland a few chances here. They're deep in their own territory, Queensland. But they have got the speed. Will it be a Lockyer, Billy Slater play? A penalty, that'll help. Fitzgibbon penalised. Hanging around in the tackle on Ty Williams for too long. Here's Queensland now. Let's check everything. 74 and a half minutes gone. Six and a half minutes to go. Ten points behind. Never have they won at Telstra. As it goes away with Smith and he's put down by Johns. That was a thumping tackle by the number seven. As it comes on to Thurston on the 40 to Lockyer, they put players in motion. Oh, Bowen is knocked on! And that's the, the advantage to the Blues, and Cooper came up with the ball, and Nastar actually gave him a push and said it's up that way. Played by Cooper, Gasny, and the Dragons combined. Cooper, Gasny, Ryan. They've left their mark on the game as well, the, the red and white team. As it goes away now for Kennedy! been strong Kennedy with some of those surging runs but dearest for Fitzgibbon now and he's 19 out from the Maroons line played back to Badiris who gets it away for Johns he switches it back into the short side for Anasta and Braith plays the ball Badiris goes to Johns off his right foot try Badiris has scored his second origin try in as many games the Newcastle captain to the New South Wales captain and Danny Badera scores Origin 2 will go to the Blues now well, the Queensland coach Michael Hogan will hope that he sees plenty of that in the second half of the season at club level and Newcastle number 7 to the Newcastle number 9 look at him bouncing around Andrew Johns worried about his fitness He's, he looks like a 12 year old out there Precision ball between Queensland defenders. That wraps it up. And watch the Maestro in action. Sums up the situation. The ball out in two hands. Could run it. Yeah, that'll do it for you. The Maestro is struck again. He went searching for someone. He, three times he went to the right and came back to the left looking for support. On the third occasion, he found a man in open space. Danny Buderis is trailing up from the dummy half area. Fitzgibbon. Sixteen metres away from the line. And he's about the same in from the Western Touchdown. So the Blues, with five tries, five goals, make that six now. They lead by 32 points to 16. At the 78th minute, we are headed for Suncorp. We are headed for a decider. The crowd here tonight, 82,389. That is capacity. And they've had a joyous night. Absolutely thrilled by the performance, the return of Andrew Johns, who embraced what Alan Langer did in 2001. Fittler did it last year, but their job was nowhere near as complicated as the one served up to Johns tonight. 15 out from the... New South Wales line. 20, 
and meters out from the Blues line. It's out to Johns again. And now it's away for Ryan and Ryan to Menzies. Menzies taken down. He was a reserve forward for the game, but they always had the safety net with Menzies. If an outside back got hurt, he'd be there. His Gaznia, and Gaznia will play the ball on halfway. One and three quarter minutes of the second origin to go. The Harvey Norman series is going to Suncorp for a decider. Michael Crockett taken down. Let's go to Andrew, sideline in the dying seconds. Yeah, Ray, quick word with Andrew John's father, Gary. Front row seats, and haven't you enjoyed the show tonight from your son? Unbelievable, eh? More than we expected. We thought he'd play well, but I didn't think he'd play this well. Good on you, Gary. Back to you, Raps. Yes, a very proud dad. And I'm sure there's another 33 proud dads out there watching this game somewhere tonight because you'd have to be proud to have a kid come through to play at this level of rugby league. Played by Sibbon to Sieber. It's gone on to Thurston. He turns it to Flannery. It goes to Bowen. Bowen is held 20 metres out from the Blues line. Five tackles gone, indicated by Stephen Clark in his third origin tonight. Here's the banana or the hook ball back across from Lockyer. Marked by Kennedy, put down by Gaznia. And uh, it's going to be a scrum to restart play. Timeout is called. There's yeah. a player down injured, I fancy. We'll forgive Ben Kennedy for that one. What a game he's had. The only scary thing about Kennedy tonight, and you've heard me rap him a lot tonight, but a couple of times when they've got a little bit desperate, he's been the one probably pushing the pass that wasn't necessary to push. 32 to 16 though it's now looking comprehensive the rebound is okay for Lockie to pick up recover and go on he runs into Kennedy and Kennedy's there with Riles they're 10 meters out right in front of the uprights just the last half a minute of the game remaining now five meters away from the Blues line Bowen and Sivan Asiva getting it together Sivan Asiva's over the big fellow has forced his way over backwards I might add but Sivan Asiva has scored right on full time 32 points to 20 he's going forward but he scores the try going backwards that might be tautological but it's true Petro is that his first try yes it is that's the first time he's been over the stripe in origin football adjacent to the uprights your final score will almost definitely be 32 to 22 smith from 10 outs practically in front there it is and that is the end of it origin two is over the Wizard Blues have won the game, 32 points to 22.